Well, uh, to shed more light uh, on this, we have the pleasure to have with us over the phone our dear guest, uh, His Excellency Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Good, uh, good evening, Your Excellency. Good evening. How are you? How are you? Well, uh, Your Excellency, how did you follow today uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi swearing in uh, for a uh, third uh, new presidential uh, uh, term? How did you see uh, this as a new mandate uh, from the Egyptian people? I, I, I followed it closely all over the day, and I even uh, listened twice or three times to the president's speech and to the speaker of the parliament. Uh, we, we, we have to listen quite carefully to what is going on, really, as citizens and as people who can affect our uh, community to the, 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 the sake of uh, uh, better Egypt and for development. And yes. just right now, I put on my Facebook page a, a, a sort of a conversation between the president and my humbly myself. This happened uh, 10 years ago when I asked him to uh, pray for God to help him. And I told him, and, and my article titled, God help you. God help you and what uh, you are facing is not something uh, at your uh, standard. You can always uh, face all uh, what we are facing and we can solve all the problems. It doesn't need international monetary fund or world bank or experts. It needs a political will and it needs the people to be behind you in your uh, uh, way to make Egypt better and better. Yes. Uh, so, Your Excellency Ambassador uh, uh, Bayoumi, uh, uh, how did you follow the speech uh, by the President uh, today before uh, the Parliament uh, uh, during uh, swearing in uh, 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 as uh, for the third presidential uh, term in office? Um, uh, the President uh, um, uh, taking the oath in the new administrative capital. Uh, first, how did you see the significance of the President uh, taking the oath uh, in the uh, new administrative capital uh, and also from the new uh, headquarters of of the uh, parliament about the place it's very good because we need a sort of uh, uh, information to the people where is the new capital what is going on that we are not spending money for uh, for nothing all the countries who uh, make a new capital they spend a lot in order because we don't build a parliament every day so if we build a parliament it has to be the, the best place in the world if we build a mosque or a church, it must be the best of the world. So I, I was following this part of uh, the occasion. Second, uh, the, the, the speech of the president, it was a sort of a, a program. He, he, he promised us to do this and that. And really, I, I, I was uh, pleased with the program. He will concentrate on development. Uh, taking care of the needy classes, go everywhere in order to supply us with housing, with health care, with education, with infrastructure and roads. Some people are angry about the roads, by the way, and I don't know how we can uh, produce without roads, how we can export or import without uh, roads. And the president talks about uh, our uh, foreign policy, which is uh, my function, of course. Mm -hmm. I spent the last 62 years in the Foreign Office, and I know that Egypt has one of the best f foreign uh, office in the whole world. Mm -hmm. And our foreign policy, uh, we can always be proud uh, of. Where, uh, whenever uh, any country disagree with us, they spent 40 years until they are convinced and they followed us. May, may I give you quick examples? When the Russians were angry with Gabal Abdel Nasser when he joined the uh, General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade, GATT, he, because in their opinion it was a sort of a imperial uh, organization, the Russian access to the GATT 43 years after Egypt. When the Americans were angry with Gamal Abdel Nasser when he recognized the new Chinese regime under the Mao Zedong and uh, 
the, the new regime of uh, China. Now, after 50 years, China is the largest uh, partner in trade and investment in uh, with, with the United States, and China is the largest holder of U.S. dollars as a reserve. Many things like that which shows us as diplomats and as citizens that our country is always on the right track concerning its foreign policy. We are a, a, a country which established the United Nations system. We are, a, we are a, a, a coming from a country which established the oldest uh, regional uh, organization, which is the Arab League. We are members of what we established also in Africa, the African Union. We established the group of 77, which is uh, uh, 140 uh, countries, which is the uh, developing countries. We are proud of our foreign policy, and I think it works and it pays back whatever we spend on it. So, uh, also, Your Excellency Ambassador Bayoumi, uh, the uh, President today in his speech uh, have um, uh, uh, vowed to fulfill the aspirations of the Egyptian people and to continue with the path of uh, building the nation, uh, not only to stop after all the achievements that has uh, been taking place 10 years ago, uh, but the President promised to uh, continue building the nation. And also, he spoke about the transparency uh, that he was uh, uh, was his track since he uh, came to office uh, for the state uh, and uh, the nation, adding that uh, there were great leaps uh, that were made in very short period uh, amid many uh, hardships that Egypt passed uh, through. Uh, how did you uh, read the, these uh, words? Very important. Uh, I am proud of what we are doing. And really, I am encouraging the government and uh, the president before that uh, uh, to continue developing our country with full speed, because some people are asking to uh, slow down the, the, the development process. This will cost us, I will give you one small example, that the nuclear reactor, which we are building in, uh, in the north uh, coast of Egypt, uh, with the Russian help, we shall pay for it $29 billion. I was partner in, in this process in, in the 80s when we were going to buy this same nucle nuclear uh, uh, center for, for $2.3 billion. So if we don't accelerate the process, we pay 10 or 12 times the, the, the price. So I, I ask all of us to support the government to support the process of development in order to gain more and more and to save money and to save time. Uh, also, Your Excellency Ambassador Bayoumi, the President, uh, uh, spoke about uh, increasing the area uh, or promised uh, for the increase of the area of agriculture and the production levels uh, in order to achieve uh, Egypt's uh, uh, food uh, security uh, and also building uh, 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 all what uh, uh, or providing uh, budget for the agricultural uh, sector. This is another challenge, of course, because we have to feed ourselves with the, what we are producing of uh, agricultural products and food products is not enough. And we have a food gap all over the Arab world, which is exceeding $50 billion for the Arab world. So uh, what we are doing is on the right track. We have to enlarge our uh, agriculture area in order to, pre to produce more and more of our agricultural products. Thank God that also we are in a good situation concerning our agricultural exports, and we are one of the main exporters to the uh, European Union of potatoes, uh, vegetables, and uh, fruits. And we, we, we are really making good money from this. All our farmers are, are, are in fond of producing potatoes in order to supply to Europe. So this is also one side of our uh, economic plan, but we, 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 we never forget that we, all, we also shall concentrate on industry, car industry, transport industry, telecommunication, and so on.
Yes. Uh, also, Your Excellency Ambassador Bayoumi, uh, President, uh, spoke about the uh, participation of uh, the private uh, sector in various uh, developmental uh, fields in order to uh, uh, um, uh, expand it during uh, the new uh, coming uh, years uh, and also uh, controlling spending and reducing uh, public debt. Yes, public debt is something which is in, in deep concern to all of us. But uh, I really, I take what our experts are telling us, that we, 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 we did not exceed the limits. Take the United States, which is borrowing two and a half times its GDP. Egypt is still less than, less than 60 or 70 percent of our GDP. But, of course, we are not with indebting our mm. country. But the good news here that we are not borrowing money to eat. We are borrowing money to establish projects and uh, to, to, to produce more and more. Then one day we shall meet uh, zero uh, 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 borrowing and more and more production, whether it is industry or agriculture or services. Yes, sir. Uh, so uh, I thank you very much for your time. I thank you for your valuable information. Your Excellency Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister. <laughs>